Hello. How old are you? Eight. Me too. Wait. That one there, two there. This one. No, that one. <laughs> yeah. No. We're not supposed to be friends, you and me. We're meant to be enemies. Did you know that? We were playing in the snow and a bunch of kids walked by and they threw snow at me. So, and you know, said, oh, again, the ragatari thinks about Jewish. So she stood up and she said, she's not Jewish, she's my friend. And I left and cried at the same time. Because in other words, in order to be f my friend, she had to deny that I'm Jewish, which she meant well. She was a very good child, but... We are still friends, aren't we? What do you burn on those chimneys? I saw them going the other day. Is it just lots of hay and stuff? I don't know. We're not allowed over there. Mama says it's old clothes. Well, whatever it is, it smells horrid. My mother and my brother, where are they? What happened to them? And that man shows me smoke coming out from a chimney. I did not understand what that means. Until I found out that that chimney is from a crematorium. Did you smell it, Dad? What? That horrid smell from the chimneys. What is it? I think they just burn rubbish there sometimes. We ask their deaths. When are we gonna see our parents? Guess what they told us. See this? Where it's where it's burning? That's where they are. Your parents and your and your family are there. But I thought they're crazy. I mean, how how could any human being do to another? You know, such thing. And the world stood by. And, and nobody lifts at the finger, not even God. Okay? They smell even worse when they burn, don't they? What? My mother and I were sent to the site to go to the camp. When my mother saw that they took away my brother and sister, she turned to me and she said, Let go. You're a big girl. I have to go with the little children. I can't leave them alone. But remember my child, no matter what will happen to you, don't become bitter and hateful. Don't let them destroy you. And then the worst part was when I found out is that we didn't know. I never said goodbye to any of them. And one thing, everything that I loved and held sick, everything was gone. My family, that was the last day on earth for my family the beginning of a living hell for me. Why do you people wear pyjamas all day? They're not pyjamas. Well, those. We have to. They took all of the clothes away. Who did? The soldiers. The soldiers? Why? What have you done? I'm a Jew. They had to withstand all of these horrors because the only crime they committed was being Jewish. Those people 
Well, you see, they're not really people at all. You fatting girl! and run so fast and gives me a big slap in the face that I didn't see stars. I was blinded from her. That's a hard she hit me. Elsa. Get away from me! Get away from me! <laughs> What's your dad like? Oh, no. Is he a good man? You've never thought he wasn't? And you're proud of him. Aren't you proud of yours? I remember the, the deep affection and affection and love that my parents had. My father was an extremely jolly man. He was always full of energy and laughing and he'd always pick me up and he would tease me and he would put me on his lap. And uh, there are many moments that I do remember of that sort which are very precious and very positive to have been to my adult life. I don't understand. The nation's collapse is all down to this one man. The Jew here means the entire Jewish race. If it had been just one man, I'm sure something would have been done about him. There is such thing as a nice Jew, though, isn't there? I think, Bruno, if you ever found a nice Jew, you would be the best explorer in the world. On March the 10th, 1942, the Germans came to our town. They, they banged, screamed uh, in the middle of the night, broke into our house with their guns outstretched. I was in bed, I was terrified. They put a gun to my head, asked me where my father was. Strangely enough, I had these little German girlfriends, and I said to him in German, Ich weiß nicht, I don't know. And on the way out, my father ran to the basement. They went down, and that's when they killed, shot him. We can't find Papa. He went on a different work due to some of the men, and they haven't come back. I want to help you find your dad.
rain stops. They told them to undress and they're going to get a shower. They're going to be disinfected. And they never came back. They killed them and they, they pushed them in into the guest chamber. You know what was the worst thing for me under the Holocaust, besides my own suffering, is to see people that I love to suffer. There is no greater pain than to see people that you love to starve, to torture, to be killed. This was, this was such a pain that I can never forget. Hitler didn't succeed. Because we're